Welcome to the Full Vantage Podcast, celebrating a year with Pastor Trevor. And guess what, team? I'm your host today. I'm taking over so I can ask you about the year, about Full Vantage, get some insight. How you feel, man? How's the day? This is about to be wild, and uh, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. You know, it, I, I actually haven't been in the in the hot seat like this in a minute. Sure. Uh, usually I'm getting to walk with people, hear from people, learn from people. But I'm pumped, and uh, I know it always is a wild time with you and I together. So sure. let's, uh, let's ride, you know? Yeah, man. I think it, it's, it's really cool to think about what, what, what the first podcast people might listen to, you know? And so my hope is that if they see this one, they'll get like, you know, kind of like this is syllabus week, you know, they kind of get a reflection and then they get a preview of, of the next, of the next year. And so first question, super simple one, what is the Full Vantage podcast? Uh, great question. It's your fault, by the way. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. Like this is, this whole thing is, is your fault. Yeah. You and one other person. There's two people in my life. Matthew's one of them, okay? Nagging me. I mean, do you have a friend that nags you to do positive things? This is one of mine. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, it, how, it, was for, it was like a year and a half. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. were like, dude, you, just throw a mic on the conversations you're yeah, having. I remember. Just why not start a podcast. I'm like, dude, no, I'm not, I'm not doing this. Yeah. And then uh, uh, I actually don't remember – exactly when we it was decided we should do you remember that moment when when i was when i when i called you and i was like i'm i think i should do this i remember a shift in you because i remember i remember there were there was a series of probably like six months of phone conversations that we had and i was like man i'd give i think i'd give anything to record them just so i could give them to my kids after i die you know just like here's what here you need you need friends like this you need conversations like this and I wish that the world could hear how to have good, authentic conversations that are just dense and rich and right to the point and talking about things that matter. And, um, you know, just, friend, just friendship. And I was really thankful. And I was like, man, I, I, honestly, just so I, could, I can kind of harken back to the thoughts that God gives you, that would be really great. And then I remember you go, all right, all right, all right. Equipment. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy a camera. Your thing was your thing was I'm gonna buy a camera. That was your first thing, and I knew okay, like dude's dude's moving, like he's going to get the thing, yeah. and then 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 yeah, you did it. So well, <clears throat> we did it. Again, your fault. You know, you definitely you played a huge piece in this. I think it's important if you if we learn something from that, have friends in your life that nag you to do, and challenge you to do, and encourage you to do over and over and over again. Right things that you need to do yeah and i just needed to do this even the podcast this past year for myself sure i've seen how much i've grown you know i love to learn i love to help i love to grow personally so even just these episodes of this past year and what we've done i'm like honestly if i can be if i can learn oh man Maybe I can just give that away. I don't know if there's someone else out there that's interested in the similar things or, you know, I think different people, what I found, what we were even just talking about this morning is this person's connected with this different episode, this person's connected with that. And just even like the different areas that of people's interests and what they, and what they need and where they need to grow. I love having that conversation. Um, But back to your question that you asked me is what you said, what is the full vantage podcast? Right. What is is it? So, um, what it is today is not what it was when it started. Right. Not even close. And there's probably seven, five to seven different iterations of it in the past year. But, but to start, I, if I can remember clear, like as clearly as possible to start is it was first to get different vantage points from different people because maybe we could learn and grow from those viewpoints. Sure. 
And what I found to be true is if I have a problem, the more vantage points I get around that problem, well, that problem gets solved faster. Okay, great. Yeah. If that can help me, that can definitely help someone else. Well, guess what's also true? Uh, the opposite side of that coin is the positive side of a problem, which is probably like a goal or a dream. Yeah. Well, guess what? If I can get the right vantage points and viewpoints to understand that goal or dream, it's going to come faster into my life. So that's kind of where it began. Yeah, so that's what it it was, and it still kind of is yeah. that for sure. Um, to be honest, I don't really, I don't even really love the name. Yeah, it, but it's just to like, it was a, the Gitmo of the names. Yeah, of like, well, this is good enough to move on for now. Right, I I love that. You know, and it's like, that's a good way to. Why don't you like the name? Live life. Uh, full Vantage Podcast. Why don't I like the name? Um, uh, Am I saying advantage? Am I saying vintage? Hmm. Is this a, what does that even mean? You know, you kind of have to describe it a lot and it's kind of long. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't really love the name and I still don't really, I'm not married to the name at all. I actually think it it may even change, but uh, that's just the nature of creativity and, sure. and things growing and becoming what they need to, but to be honest, I did, yeah, that's, that's some of the reasons why I don't, like, what, what are you saying when you say full advantage? Well, yeah. explain it, but then I don't mind that either on yeah. the other side, because if a name in, encourages somebody to ask me the question, then I get to explain it, and then we get to have a conversation that's meaningful, so. Right. That's cool. Yeah. Um, but I think what it's become, in my mind, is getting people to build and have meaningful friendships. Yeah, I love that. And it's, actually, should... what we landed on was, I, I just cut you off, but we landed okay. on the other day is uh, pursuing the 5% and finding the one. Okay. Love that. That's my new favorite, like, tag yeah. about what we're doing. Okay. So you would, you would say that the, that the core theme the thematic steel thread of full vantage is friendship. Okay, so it, it, 100%. So if I were to ask you, why does it exist? What would you say? Why does friendship exist or no, why, does, why the does the podcast? The full, why does the podcast exist? This podcast exists because I want people to have what I have found. Right. That's it. That's good. I want to I want to give away what I've learned. Okay. But then I want want to also reveal the opportunity, the opportunities there are for us to learn. Okay. And what does it really look like for someone to pursue the 5%? What does that even mean? Well, here's what that means. A uh, good friend of mine explained to me the bell curve of the types of relationships and conversations people have. Well, guess what? The reason you and I talked for months our friendship became, uh, I think this is important. Our friendship really began over like talking on the phone. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Cause we were and this dude FaceTimes everyone. He doesn't talk on the phone. He'll <laughs> FaceTime you. And it's like, dude, who FaceTimes? How old are you? Um, no, I'm just kidding. No, it's just like, no I, I, and I've started to enjoy FaceTime. It's fun. Um, but we actually began, our friendship grew because we had meaningful conversations about important topics over the phone yeah that's true you know and who's having that yeah okay well what are we learning how can we give this away i love helping build i love building community and teaching people to build community i want people to find meaningful powerful challenging inspiring loving friendships yeah i love that that's great i mean so if you're here and people are going to choose between your podcast or another way to spend their time. They're going to learn a lot about what meaningful friendships look like. Yeah, and to be honest with you, I'm, I don't think I'm that smart, you know. And the reason I think it's important to know that is because I'm a product of the people that have been in my life. Well, guess what? You can look smart and you can gain intelligence. Right. By surrounding yourself with people that have it. Yeah. And then the most intelligent thing you can do is apply what they say. Sure. 
apply what you learn from them. Yeah. I had a really wise friend tell me once that r- remixing and collaboration will always be the future of creativity. That was you. I don't ever remember saying that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, remember. dude, like, br- like brands, character that, that will stand the test of time and will constantly stay relevant are the ones that are willing to collaborate and remix with one another. Mm, yeah. Like my recent favorite, for example, is like Nike and Lego. You're like, dude, what? Yeah, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. The same is true as friendships. I love a good collab. Collab. Yeah. I love a good collab. Yeah. My wife says collab. Which is <laughs> makes me laugh every time. <laughs> that's <laughs> love, so funny. I love that she says that. Well, she, she picked that up from the people that that she works with, and right? That's what they say. So I just yeah. like collab. I'm like, all right, cool. That's great. Okay, so next question. What what did you in the, in the last year? This is episode fifty three. Yes. Nuts. Yes. What'd you learn? Was it easy? Was it hard? Yeah. What'd you learn? How many times did I call you and tell you that I was frustrated this past year? Uh, a lot. I mean, I say a lot. I, I don't think, when I, when I think of adjectives, I don't think frustrated when you call. I think you, you wrestled. You wrestled a whole lot with, with the, the theme of it. And I think that's good. And I think it's, it's definitely been distilled for sure. But I wouldn't say it was frustration. I think it was, you know, a, a wrestling. <laughs> well, I was... There were many times this past year uh, where I was like, man, I just am terrible at this. Nah. Or, man, I've wasted so much time, energy, and effort putting this thing together. There's so many times. But when I committed to doing this and learning, uh, those pain points are the most powerful when it comes to learning. So I won't make that mistake again. I know it firsthand. And you can fix it a few different ways. And guess what? If you keep making it, you're either going to quit or keep going and stop making it. And for me, uh, when it comes to learning, this whole past year was a commitment to 52. 52 weeks in a row. Every week we're going to release an episode. Every one. And so just prepare for it. Plan for it, which I was, and do it. I was probably not the most helpful then because I was like, "Oh man, like that's, dude, every week, that's nuts." So I remember talking, and I was like, "I, I, I even think I remember telling you, I was like, oh man, like maybe aim like for a solid like one per month." I was like, I was like lowballing you, and then you said, "Actually, no, I think, I think you 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 cited a, a quote about the top the top podcasts is like twenty episodes." It's like, I want to, I want to crush that. And you did like pretty rapidly. Um, that's, that's really good. Why did you keep, so in the frustrating moments, you say frustrated, I say wrestling. Why did you, why did you keep going? Well, for, so this last year, the one word that defines it is consistency. <clears throat> okay. So consistency and through that, we're going to learn a lot. We're going to learn how, what not to do, uh, and how to do it. We're going to learn, uh, what we need to do and what this needs to become if, it's, if we're going to keep doing it. And then three, uh, too much time in between episodes for me was going to not allow me to accomplish and be in the, you know, the top 1% of all podcasts, yeah. uh, which go beyond a certain like 20 episodes or something like that. I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah. And I was like, okay, that's a good goal. We've reached the top 1%. We have a little bit... Uh, of an audience we're encouraging people we're helping people we're passing along and so year one man the question is okay i know one thing i can do and it's be really consistent i am not going to give up until one year is done yeah all right there we go so there was no there was no there was no there was no like uh there was nothing that was going to stop me from that whether it was just me and a camera by myself or I was going to get people to help me or you were going to come on. Uh, I was going to learn something about myself yeah. and see if I had what it take takes to, to accomplish the task. Yeah. So, man, honestly, it was just a promise to myself that I was going to keep. I was just about to say that, yeah. It sounds like you made a promise. And yeah. 
you wanted to keep it to yourself. That's great. Yeah. Well, I've been learning a lot about consistency since 2020. Sure. So I know that that's the first step of seeing if that's, if you actually have what it takes. And if you can actually be consistent, you will learn something. Tell me, because there's, there's likely, like myself, there's a lot of creators that watch this. And there's probably some lessons to be gained from doing something for a solid year consistently. What are some, what are some specific things that you learned about yourself? And what were some of the maybe intrusive thoughts that you had to overcome over the course of the year? Oh, man, that's a great, that's a great question. Let me tell you why I didn't want to do the podcast. So here's why I didn't want to do this podcast. One, uh, I'm going to be saying something that's going to be captured and it's going to live forever. Yeah. I better say things that are worth saying. Sure. And I may, rev- it may, I may look back and I think, oh, I actually didn't say anything. Do I, did I, do I actually, am I actually saying things that I, uh, that I agree with. For example, if you say something publicly in, in, a, in a year, five year, 10 year span, are people gonna allow you to grow and maybe change your opinion? Yeah. That's a fear. Yeah. Or am I gonna be called a liar or am I gonna be called a f- fake or a phony or am I gonna be, but are, are we gonna allow, are we gonna be allowed to grow? Right. That's one. Sure. Okay. You want to say something to that one? I feel feel like you do. it's good, but but what's cool about that and what's a protective mechanism for all of it it is the whole podcast is predicated on this idea of growth. And so, like, you being able to say, um, I've I've recently, like, the people in my life that I love the most say, I've actually actually changed my mind recently on this. Like, I, I I can ask, like, or you can ask that question, what's... What's, the, what's something that you've recently changed your mind on? And if a person can't think of something, there's probably a lot there that we need to talk about. But that's not you. Like, I've actually, I actually thought I, I thought I was convinced that this was the way. And I actually shifted my mind a little bit, or I've changed my mind, or I've tweaked this thought in some way. That's, those are the best people. So just to encourage, like... No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Let's encourage people with this. So here's how I overcame that thought. Let me share that. Yeah. Okay? So here's... I overcome saying things that live for a long time, and I don't know if I want to do that. Am I there? Do I have enough intelligence to even uh, say a thought that's worth saying? Okay. Here's, sure. here's, um, here's how I overcome that. I would rather say something than not say anything at all. Yeah. I would rather say something, back to even your thought, I'd rather say something that my kids, my family, my friends hear than not say anything. Yeah. I cannot let silence speak for me. Yeah. And so I'm committed to uh, just being myself, um, which is a hard thing to do. You've got to be, that was another, that was another uh, aside of like, man, I don't know if like, I can really be myself in this, yeah. um, but that's okay. And let's come to grips with that. And then let's do whatever it takes to be a hundred percent us yeah. to live with integrity. And, and from there you'll find, yeah. you'll find what you're looking for. Sure. Okay. But then why didn't I, what's another reason why I didn't want to do this podcast? Another one, um, was, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like, figuring it all out i don't want to figure this all this whole thing out yeah and uh i don't want to go through the struggle that i know this is going to be um but you know it's it's worth you know the overcoming is like okay well i'm going to help people i'm going to be authentically myself but then i'm going to help people and even if i don't help people well guess what uh i would rather give a gift than ever I'd rather do my best to give a gift than, uh, than just not do anything at all. Yeah, that's great. 
you know, and if if that works, awesome. And if not, it's okay. Um, so yeah, that's that's a, that's another reason. So content, uh, do I have anything worth saying? Um, am, am I going to be allowed to grow? Is uh, are, are people even going to listen? Yeah. Here's how I overcame that one. Uh, for me first. Yeah. If I want someone else to listen to what I, what is happening then I first need to make something that's valuable for me. It's the only way that I know that, I've, that I have something valuable. Sure. And so that sounds selfish, but it's actually a way to overcome because it forces you to get to that 5% of all conversations yeah. that you need to have. Yeah. Let's not just make this thing all flowery and sound good and it's, no, 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 we're after authenticity we're after what's actually real. We're actually working through things. We're trying to give a gift. And I'd rather always err on the side of giving a gift than uh, receiving uh, a listen or receiving glory, if you will. Well, it's funny you said, you said well, it feels selfish. I would actually say um, two thoughts. One, a person who's been given the raw materials that you've been given... Um, the selfish version of this story would be that you continue having all these really great conversations in private and you never share them. Sure, that, yeah, that's, that's more it. That's more selfish. Yeah. Right, because you've been, you've been specifically gifted in this radical divine ability to, to connect with strangers and a myriad of people from a cavalcade of different backgrounds that is always mind-blowing to me. Like, like, even just the guests on the podcast have been so wildly variable and it's it's almost it's more attractive that way than not like it's like I, I the variable reward of the guest that you have is awesome mm -hmm. and i would say that like again you're you're constantly doing this you know, it's almost like the other joke that we made was if you if you could just wear a mic all day just so i could see some of the interactions that you get because that was a lot of our conversations like i had i had this encounter today with this person and i cannot believe it and I was like, I would always be like, I can believe it. I, you take the raw materials that's God's gives, that God has given you with the people in this city, and you go, yeah, of course this happens. I wish, I wish it was on record, though. That would, be, that would be incredible to watch two people in trust, in vulnerability grow together and just share their life, and you're cataloging testimony. That's, that's what's happening is you're, you're taking your personal testimony, you're extending it, and you're cataloging it so that it might be more valuable, not just to you. And that's, that's really beautiful. That's really cool. Um, so it's even just... weird. It's even weird to have you like host me and, and for me to even kind of be in the guest. That's a me personally thing. That's and have you, no, 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 <laughs> no. I'm just, I'm saying like, it's weird to like, no, I'm grateful for all the things that you just, sh that you just shared. It, it's weird because it's like, well, I'm revealing, but that, that is, I think that's what's cool about the human experience or like us as humans is like we get to give each other information based off right. of the experience we have. Right. And I just want people to, to live in the fullness that life has to offer them, not because I'm living in the fullness perfectly, but because I'm pursuing it and my friends and the people around me are pursuing it and there's a lot of people ahead of me that yeah. I'm learning from well, I realized that, like, maybe not everyone gets to know them. Right. So, like, if we could just open up the... Sure. The communication floodgates, it's, it's, if you will. It's pure, this idea that you want to share. Yeah, that's, that's really right. That's really honorable. That's right. It's like if you experienced the best tacos in Denver. They <laughs> went tacos on us. Like, you just... You, you had the best absolute... But it blow, blew your mind... Changed your life, and then you just didn't tell anybody. My crew and a few others, we went to celebrate one year, and we had tacos. Okay. I think we ate 50 tacos. <laughs> yeah, bro. We ate legitimately 50 tacos <laughs> on a Taco Tuesday. It was, in, it was insane. And there was this person <laughs> that kept yelling in one, of my, in one of my friend's ears, and it was the fun like it was so 
funny. And uh, yeah, man, it was a blast. We had a, it was it was it was it was hilarious. Anyway, Let's, sorry. You cool if we transition? Tacos. Yeah, yeah. Okay, tell me tell me some of your highlights. Tell me some of your favorite moments that just come to mind. They don't have to be cataloged, ranked, or anything. Just tell me the ones that came to mind that were your favorite over the last year. Favorite guest, favorite talk, favorite anything. Yeah, I learned something from everyone, which is key. Yeah. So, you know, favorites. Favorites aren't necessarily. If any of the guests are listening, favorites are more like, um, for me. But I think everyone learned, and I learned from every single guest. It was so amazing. Sure. Um, and uh, I'll say this: I learned. Uh, I learned what it takes. I learned what it takes. Mm. I think we overestimate. I mean, excuse me. I think we completely underestimate what it takes. To be consistent. To be consistent. Yeah. To do a podcast. To live life. To accomplish anything. Yeah. And that's why it's so hard for us to keep the promises we make to ourselves. Yeah. Because we wildly underestimate the amount of energy and effort and frustration, soreness, difficulty, doesn't matter, can, that, we, that we're going to have to go through. Sure. Um, but a few of the highlights. Uh, first one that comes to mind uh, is my grandfather. Mm, yeah. So that was for me. That episode wasn't for anyone else. Yeah. And... I only get so much more time left with him. Sure. And so it was the first time. And, he, and he's probably the smartest person I've ever met or yeah. sat down with. You know, the joke in our family is he has more degrees than a thermometer. <laughs> you know, so it's like, <laughs> oh, okay. No, but he legitimately, I think he has like six, six or seven different degrees. Wow. Uh, different masters, different he's doctorate, you know, like, wow. I mean, genius. And so that one sticks out because I want people to have the conversations that they need to have with the people that love them most before they no longer get to be with them. Yeah. I know we're, we're reflecting, but for the person who's watching, maybe their first time, tell them, give them some tactical practical handles on how to do that they maybe watch and they go because i've experienced that with you i've experienced and you're a great conversationalist you're a great connector you've been again gifted tremendously with the raw materials to connect both people and connect them to jesus um what are some practical things you can give people yeah this that? may not be in the uh, in the right order but I, i'm going to try to like give a a, th uh, a thread Okay, so first thing is answer this question. If, if they were gone, would you miss their voice? Hmm. Bro. If they were not here anymore, would you miss their voice? Yeah. Okay. What's that list? Write it down. Oof. Start there. Dude, that's so good. Okay. Second is... If you didn't have <laughs> sure. people come to your mind, dude, I'm shook. Like, oh, that's great. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Second is, um, once you have that list, um, be honest with the people on it. Hey, right. I just want you to know, I'm, I would miss you if you weren't here. Yep. Can we have a conversation that we record, whether it's audio or video? <laughs> can we just have a conversation that I can record? Man, that's good. Do it for yourself. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, the other day... You should listen to the voice memos on my phone. They're <laughs> wild. Dude. Like, Erica, Erica <laughs> is so lucky. That, <laughs> that woman's uh, going to have a blast going yeah. through all of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's hilarious. So, like, yeah. So, the voice memos on my phone are insane. But they're not just of me. They're of me talking to uh, Zeke when he's two. They're me talking to London on her birthday when she was one. They're me talking, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they're me talking to different people that I would, I kind of even take for granted. Sure. Because they're there on a regular basis. My right. kids, my wife, my friends. And then constantly trying to just capture 
uh, moments, not being the guy that's like always on his phone. No, but like the memo, you could set it down in, on the table and then just talk. And you're like, you're not, it's not in your hand. You're fine. Just have it. Title yeah. it then, you know? And so it's just wow. like, I think honesty is that next step. Once you have the list, be honest about it. Yeah. You know what it's going to do for someone that you love to say, if you weren't here, I would miss you. Yeah, dude. Say it to them while they're here. Yeah. And see how the relationship grows now. Right. Don't wait till you have to miss them for them to say the things that you always wish you could say to them. Dude. That's so good. Like, Zeke, when he's 16, uh, my grandfather, Charles, is not going to be probably here. Yeah. I want to show him. Right. Who he was. Who he was named after. Yeah. That's great. So then I have something to show somebody that is of value. They can learn. Yeah. Heritage. Storytelling. Sure. Um, and uh, you're, you, I know you are huge on this. Um, that's why he's at Matt Science. Okay. <laughs> we don't have to go there, but... Uh, that's uh, <laughs> you can if you want, but like he gets that nickname and his uh, his handle on the IG because he's a storyteller. Oh. Okay, so because you're a good storyteller and because other people saw that in you, you created a moment with them. Yeah, and um, and those moments always make a difference. Yeah, because those people that you love are in them. The people that matter are in those moments with you. Yeah, you know what those are worth remembering. Yeah. What if we actually strategically created moments worth remembering? Yeah. That would be the third thing, third or fourth thing. Love that. I said a few things. That's wildly helpful. Okay, so we can jump back to highlights. Any other highlights that come to mind? Yeah, so um, obviously I'm going to I'm I'm choose my family. Yeah. Uh, doing, um, you know, episodes and content with them first because, again, I, you know, and we were trying to figure out if we actually had something. With this podcast, do. do we have a product worth yeah. people listening to? Do we have a product worth uh, giving more to, committing to, investing in? And uh, and as we were going that direction, I'm like, well, no matter what, we're going to land somewhere that's valuable. If I can sit down with my mom, my dad, uh, my grandfather, what's funny uh, about that is I did not think I would get one with my dad mm. because we recorded one. And uh, we came to understand it was probably not a good thing to release publicly, which was interesting. Um, and it was, there was some, a bunch of different reasons why, but it was like, oh, man, like, maybe that was just for us, honestly. You ever seen the movie uh, Secret Life of Walter Mitty? No, it's, it's on my list because I know it's one of your also, favorites. Also, I know that you haven't, okay? And that's why I asked <laughs> because we've talked about this multiple times. It's my. I just want to watch it with you, bro. It's my. Don't you <laughs> don't. That is false. Let's just watch it. Let's Stop. just watch it together. Okay. okay? It's one of let's my favorite a, movies. Let's have a night. Stop. Okay, we can. But uh, it's one of my favorite movies. Um, uh, the guy that's the famous photographer at the end, he says he says why he doesn't take the picture that's worth taking sometimes, and he says sometimes I just want this moment for for my for me for my own memory yeah and it's like okay that's good um that is good you know and we shouldn't always have to feel like we take pictures of everything right. i'm also not saying that what i'm saying is uh those are for me both can that be one true. is for me yeah. both can be true yes which is also one of the f your favorite things to say is both can be true yeah, love um <laughs> think about that in your life whoever's listening are there things that you argue with with somebody else where both can be true. Yeah. Maybe the, the argument can be solved that way. Um, so that uh, Bohan, I think when we sat down with, uh, with Bohan, um, I realized something. Mm. I realized that there are people close to you and close to us that should have movies. Yeah, dude. About their <laughs> lives. Yeah. And man... When we sat down with Bohan and we did his come up, it was the most powerful. It was one of the, it was a, it was an, it was like a, an aha moment. Wow. 
where we where we thought we looked at each other and we said we just listened to a movie. Wow. And if no one's heard that one, if no one's seen that one, uh, go to the Bohan MMA one. Yeah. When that one went, it clicked. Yeah. It was like these. This is this is the story. Yeah. These are the types of stories we must tell. Sure. Um, yes, from people that have experienced and have a lot of uh, head knowledge or intelligence or, you know, doctors, lawyers, businessmen, yes. But who has gone through it and come to the other side and they're still growing? And what does it take to go from where they were born to uh, where they are today? Uh, man, that one. Um, yeah, there were so many, but that one was one. I quote yeah, uh, yeah. Nicole Manning a lot. Okay. Um, we found out how luck can be more strategic than just by happenstance sure. with that one. Sure. That one was powerful. Um, the one with uh, the one with Philip uh, okay. on art, yep. professional artists that come up again. Another type of Bohan story. Yeah. Where yeah, the come yeah, up yeah, is yeah, like, yeah. oh man, you know, this you know, job that he didn't necessarily want, multiple jobs to get to where he really wanted to go. And now he's an artist. He's a yeah. professional artist, all, painting all over the, yeah. the country. Um, you know, and just just people building. And uh, I think what we found is the, the best conversations are, are not always the people that have accomplished, okay. but people that are in the middle or on the front end of accomplishing, okay. like Elrod. You know, he he wants uh, to be a world champion boxer. That episode, you know, when we sat down with him, you could you just I was looking at a guy that I knew, kind of, but when we sat down together with Elrod, I could see in his eyes the resilience in the fight. Yeah, to like get to where he wanted to go it was palpable yeah and i was like oh my gosh this is i can't wait i'm convinced yeah you're there yeah you know and you know and something may come up that that changes that but but to be able to sit in a room with someone that has it yeah undefeated right now you know and you know what i learned about i learned a lot about the boxing world and like it's actually less, sometimes, it's less about how good you are and more about the following that you have to get you the, the fights you need. Sure. To keep going and growing. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And is. so we learned about the business side. And so, man, just like, um, yes, you have to be good. I'm not saying that, but it's just. And. We, yeah, and. And there's, there's just so. We, we, oh, we completely uh, underestimate what it takes. Just back to that. Yeah. That thought. Um, yeah. yeah. Sorry, that was kind of a lot. I could. No, it's not a lot. So I, think it, I think it was. I think it was great. I think one thing. One thing. Even though you 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 admitted to intrusive thoughts, why why not? I think you have exhibited a consistent belief that it is meaningful. And I think that's like, dude, core thesis you got to believe that what you're doing is valuable and you do. And that's why it is, is I believe that it is. Um, so really, really, I mean, really awesome to reflect back and do that quick side question. If your life, if somebody made a movie about your life, who would you have play you and who would you have direct it? Let's answer this for each other. <laughs> okay, sweet. <laughs> that would be more fun to you. <laughs> Maybe, I mean, sorry, I, I messed up your question. But no, uh, it's great. I don't know who would I want to script. play my life. I don't know. Um, I was growing up uh, in like basketball community, and uh, it was funny. Uh, early in life, I was told that I looked like Steve Nash. Oh, I was like, all right, I'm down. You know. It's kind of fun. Um, but uh, anyways, that's, that's that great. has nothing to do with uh, actors or, or whatever. No, he could, he could play you for sure. Um, no, no, no. That would be – I don't think – he's not 
No? I mean, that's fine, but I don't care. But I just, I just thought it was it's funny. like a Matt Damon. You know, oh, sure, like, sure, 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 sure. I don't know. Uh, I, think, I think we're too young to answer the question. I would say that I'm too young to answer the question right now. I don't know what kind of movie I'm, I'm making over here. Oh. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, what, sure. what's the style of movie? Is this an action film or is this a... Is this, know, a, like, that's part of the question. is this a rom com? Is, is, like, is his personality? <laughs> is this a uh, what? what, what, what uh, if it was, yeah. if it, it's funny you say Tarantino. That's mine. Tarantino. <laughs> Tarantino. Yep. Tar- Tarantino. Tarantino. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. Uh, you know more about the 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 movie space than me, man. Like I don't. I don't get to. I don't. That's okay. Yeah. I don't know. What would you, What would you answer if you were answering that question for me? For you, Matt Damon and like a Christopher Nolan or like a, like some. Oh yeah. Christopher Nolan would be cool. Yeah. Like, or, uh, uh the visuals on that. I can't think of, fire. um, the documentarian, if that's a word, does a bunch of documentaries. Um, uh, when I, uh, Matt Damon. <laughs> so something funny is, uh, my aunt, when, uh, when I just in life, she uh, what was the movie? Uh, F- Ferris, help Ferris, me out. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Boom, that one. She was like, "You're like Ferris Bueller." Yeah, and I'm like, dude, that's great. I don't Spot know on. That, but. <laughs> totally, absolutely agree. Yes, uh, like things just happen, and you're like, "Wait, what? How is this guy there doing that thing?" And I'm like, "Ah, uh, you know." That's great. I don't know. Let's, great, uh, great answer. Uh, okay, that's funny. All right, let's shift. Hopes and dreams preview. I think this is like a trailer for season two. Yeah, Second it kind year. of is. This is like uh, this is the break that we were trying to do, and when we were talking about it, uh, hopes and dreams for uh, year two. Uh, year two, we are way down the road. We're way weeks in to year two. Yeah. And so what we're trying to do in year two is actually. Um, just build off of year one. Year one was built more off of uh, who's currently in my circles Yep. that uh, are friends that are right around me. And we're going to keep doing that. Sure. But year two is we're actually going to be getting to know people that we don't know yet. Yeah. And, uh, and build. Um, and we're going to like the idea is maybe even keep building on the, the friendship and building community aspect. Yep. Um, so, Four, maybe four or five out of the first, you know, six weeks are going to be people that are mo- more newer in my life. Yeah. Uh, that I'm more like just now getting to know and building friendships and relationships with. So people are going to be able to see me in, in real time build relationship. Yeah. Ask questions that we could be asking practically to each other sure. if we're getting to know people that are new. And then honestly... Uh, we've seen the most. We're taking a huge step in quality. Yeah, and I would, uh, hardly agree. In 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 year two, and like I said, in year one, it took us about seven iterations to get to where we are now in quality. Dude, year two, uh, we have a team that's coming together of just like friends, community. Uh, you'll see them kind of uh, behind the scenes and even on camera and talking about what we're doing. And, um, man, we're just really trying to reveal to others if you can create together what could happen, but then also how you can learn from others, maybe in the city that you're in yeah. or in the, you know, in the world around you or one or two people away from you. And uh, I'm, I'm genuinely fired up for uh for the release of these episodes we couldn't be more pumped about them yeah yeah just the ones we've already recorded you guys would agree like i mean awe inspiring okay and uh yeah man fired up i'm gonna put you on the spot uh dream guests and you have to answer this (laughs) you cannot say ah i just like, like everybody everybody like i like everybody no like your your dream three, okay. Who who if you talk to him like and we'll tag him like who would you want here? 
Okay, sick. Uh, top three that come to mind. Okay. Uh, Deion Sanders. Yeah, bro. Post Malone. Okay. And Cam Haynes. Okay. <laughs> that was quick. All right, sweet. L- those were just the first three that came to mind. Okay. Uh, love endurance sport. Yeah. Running. Uh, 826 days in a row. Yeah. Right now. So. Dude. Um, that consistency is kind of keeps growing up. It's crazy to see what, what's happened in my life because of that endurance and, and consistency. So, uh, obviously that's where Cam comes in. Uh, Dion, um, I think it would be sick to have Dion. I just love his, like, um, he's fascinating, obviously. There's a prime effect. And he's local. Like, he's kind of local right. here, right. you know. Uh, it's a Denver, Boulder, Colorado area. Yep. And so we're seeing some really cool things um, happen around him. And then uh, I think what Posty is able to do across um, across musical genres and how he is transforming and changing, um, it would be phenomenal to talk about with him what that looks like. So, I don't know, just, Yeah. That's they're all in, they're all still in process. Yeah. Literally all of them. Yeah. They all have dreams that they they haven't made it yet. I love yeah. that. They've made it but they haven't made it, you know? Yeah. So, uh, people like that. Yeah. Dude, great answer. And then you. <laughs> I'm here, bro. <laughs> I know. But every time you are on, you are the dream. Oh, dude. That, uh, <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh. Uh, that mustache, my gosh. Can people see it? Is it too blonde? Is it on the <laughs> Does that man have something on his face? Does he know? Does he can he rub that off? Um that's super funny. All right. Who hey uh real quick. Uh give me one for you for me. One f- from me to you. Like for example, if you and I I I don't know if if everyone knows this, but you're you're like co-hosts with me. Like mm-hmm. like w- w- you will be on the pod regularly this next year and you have to be because you forced me to do it so good yeah. luck um, and we will talk about different topics like the last one was awesome that we did but what if you and I had somebody that you and I interviewed together sure maybe even that I mean it's hard to say just one because you, you may know, I be. go go ahead I go yeah for sure yeah but I'm the host you know <laughs> so, is this how you feel all the time uh the you know it's so funny the one that came to mind in me, the first is Erwin McManus Pastor Erwin, and I think that would be a really stellar because I know he's meant a lot to both of to both of us and his his vision his creativity um, is was wild um, uh, yeah I th- I think he come, he comes to mind first it'd be cool to have him and Aaron on the pod if you guys are listening. Let's uh let's get a let's get a convo. Mind shift pod. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Pretty sure that's is it is that right? I don't know. Mind shift pod. Yeah, no it is. His son. Yeah, but his 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 son Aaron McManus right. is a little bit older than me. What's cool about that is they have a similar relationship to me and dad. Okay. Because, you know, dad's pastor, my dad is, and and so I grew up similar to how Aaron did. It's kinda of, big that'd be kinda of cool, you know? Like sure. us uh us for chatting. Mind shift pod. Yeah, is what they call it now because uh, I think it was called Battle Ready. They changed it to Mind Shift Pod yeah. because of the book that he wrote. And I just love that. Like, oh, back to names, you know? Feel free, yeah. like, you know, if we need oh, to call this something else for the next, you know? My, mom, my mind's all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. No, you're good. No, it's good. No, I, I, I Oh, think you're Irwin, thinking about a ton of things. Oh, a ton, a ton of other yeah. names. Yeah, for sure. Um, Classic. But Irwin. Ir- Pastor Irwin came to mind first. I think, yeah. Um, second, I think it'd be fun to get like maybe hyper theological in one with like a Nathan Finocchio and it'd be hilarious. I just, I love that dude. And the the moments we've shared have been just hilarious. Let's connect with him. I go to, Na- we go to Nashville a lot. Oh yeah, for sure. I think, um, you know, another pastor has this quote, it's like, uh, um, and I say it a lot, but because it's so good. It says, uh, tears are to salvation that laughter is, oh, sorry, uh, tears are to repentance, but laughter is to salvation. And when I experience somebody who is so jestful and hilarious in the faith, it, it makes, it, it does something to my heart that I can't 
describe. And I just love it so much because you're one of those people. It's like, Hey, like the things that we believe in the things that Jesus did and all, all of it, it's, 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 it's hilarious and it's hard and you have to be able to joke about things. And he's just, he's just one of those people. Um, I love yeah. that you went all pastors. I did no pastors. Well, no, pastors. that's that's me. Just that, that that's just a, it's probably just the day. Oh, not, like, not, but, but, but you and I together maybe talking to him that'd be cool. Yeah, that yeah, would sick. be that would be that would be a blast for sure. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Okay, okay. Uh, last parting thought: If you could give everybody who's listening um, one thing to help them focus on the right things today, what would you tell them? Oh, man. The first thing that came to mind was um, just gratefulness. Uh, I'm grateful to be where we are. I'm grateful to have my friends here, Um, all of you guys. You know, it's like it's an honor to be able to sit here and to say, wow, 53 weeks. Yeah. Like, stuff like that doesn't happen in a silo. Stuff like that doesn't happen. And maybe it does happen, but it couldn't happen for me. Sure. I need, I need people to help me. I need others to go with me. I'm a creature, yes, maybe a little bit of habit, but actually more of, like, community and friendship and, and relationship. And so, like, having the, peop- the right people to speak into my life, uh, has been, has been of utmost importance. And, and that paired with honesty is the most helpful formula for like, oh, we can, actually, we can actually move forward together. Yeah. Oh, you actually need help? I'll help you. Oh, you need someone to celebrate with? Guess what? Let's celebrate together. Oh, you, you've made it. Good job. And like you, being that for somebody else will reveal if they can be that for you. Yeah. And you must have that. Yeah. Uh, Not everyone's going to be able to celebrate with you. Not everyone is going to be able to cry with you. You need people and somebody to be able to do both and in both directions and believe the best when you come to them with those things. Sure. Uh, To know you as you you really are. Yeah. And if they can walk with you or run with you (laughs) in that way, then, and uh, they don't judge you for it. Dude. Like, that will change your life. Oh, yeah. But it's going to be difficult for you to ever find those people if you aren't first that kind of person. Sure. And also, don't, um, don't, again, underestimate how hard that will be to do. Yeah. To find that person. Yeah. Uh, because just like finding a job and getting a job that pays you the salary that you want to get paid and how much work and effort it takes? Why would you think that a friendship that's worth having that makes an impact that lasts forever is any less than how much it takes to find a job Yeah. that costs and pays you the thing that you want to get paid? Yeah. So just like... uh, And then in the middle of all that, the thing that keeps coming to my mind the most is what's the smallest change, detail, add? What's the smallest thing that you could do that could change your life and put you on a trajectory that changes your life forever? The smallest one. Yeah. Do that consistently. Yeah. And then don't waste that. And the way that you don't waste it is kill, keep building from it yeah. when you're ready to add the next thing or to remove the next thing. Mm-hmm. That's it, man. That's great. Yeah. That's a great place to end. Here's Thanks for hosting. Two. No, my pleasure, man. Here's to season two. I'm not a fan of being in this chair. No. I don't hate it. I'm not a fan of being in it. Meaning yeah, like you're great. you you're chat. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, I'm looking forward to all the conversations that you, are gonna, you and I are going to have, by the way. Yes. Uh, there's a list. Kay. So you need to study up. Let's do it. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, uh, you want to close? You want me to? You can. All right, bet. Um, thank you guys 
for joining. We are going to be going all in on YouTube this next year. And not that we're not going to have Spotify and do Apple Podcasts, um, but we're going to be going all in on YouTube. So if you want to, um, uh, please go to the Full Advantage Podcast YouTube channel and subscribe to that. And that'll be a great way to encourage us. If you're like, oh, man, you made it. Congrats. If you want to give us like a celebratory congrats uh, gift, um, do that. It'll encourage us. And uh, um, you will see in the next two weeks a huge change on it. And, uh, and then you won't miss. Uh, you don't want to miss the episode that is coming out next week. So uh, thank you, Matthew, at uh, Matt Science yeah. on the IG. Uh, you're going to want to follow this man. And we're going to challenge him this next year to uh, to add a little Gitmo to his revealing of creativity in his life as well. Sweet. So uh, which would be sick. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So thankful for you guys. Let's keep building. And uh, FVP. Let's go. See you guys later. I think that was great. <laughs>